day, or this evening, this day, um, it is almost 11 o'clock p.m. here in the beautiful Ventura, California, Pacific Coast of the USA. We're going to do something a little different today. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to do some analog coloring. So, I've got a project here that I'm working on that um, I've got a little job to do for some creators, some partners, and uh, I need to color these pages. So, I already started. I actually uh, had started these like months ago, and so I need to finish them up. And uh, let's just get that going, right? Let's just like hit that. Let me first make sure that we're live, that we can hear each other. So let me just do this real quick. Give me a second. Um, can I comment? No, we can't comment. Okay. Someone is watching this. This is amazing. I love it. Someone's watching us. Let me just type this. Okay, give me one second. Just give me one second, everybody. Just calm the freak down. Give me a minute. This first video is always. Almost takes a couple seconds to just get this going, okay? So just hang tight. Go take a bio break. Get your drink. Get your chips. You know, whatever you need to do. Get your stuff. And uh, get ready for just like easing in to some glorious, wonderful times here. Um, okay. We're jamming. So, this is what we did. We got some pencil, excuse me, we got some inked artwork, okay? We got inked artwork. We then scanned that in. We got that work. We then put those on two pieces of paper. This is uh, 11 by 17, right? I decided to shrink them down so they fit on one page, right? So you got page 38 here, page 39 here, right? So far so good? Everyone's got this? Okay. Now, we then get those two pages on the, on the page, on the digit, digital like page, we change the opacity to about 20%, okay? So I'm, I'm giving you guys this step by freaking step. 20%, okay? This is 20% opacity. We then put our nice little paper, this is Bristol board, through the printer, prints this out. Now we have paper that we can watercolor on, okay? Ha-ha, uh ha-ha. -huh, uh -huh. We can watercolor the paper. And then we're gonna scan this in so that it'll look like this. Now it doesn't look quite right, right? Because the blacks aren't in here. We're gonna scan this in and then we're gonna put on the layer, the multiply layer of that black, okay? The black comes on top of this as a multiplied layer and now you have your blacks and you have this, bada bing, bada boom, right? Okay, I like them apples. I'm gonna put the creator of this mug. Okay, so that's that's that now. So now we've got these pages, and I've already did already did like a bunch of these. I'm actually way ahead of the schedule. So, uh, so let's start working, right? Okay, so move this out of the way now. Uh, what I'll do here is I'm gonna just put this right here, and I'm just gonna get get to work. Um, hang on. I say that, but I'm gonna have to change a few things because I need to get my hand in here. Okay, so these two pages are done. 30 and 31 are done. I need to do 32, 33, 34, all the, all the rest. So that's all these guys. So these guys are next. So why don't I do these fillers next? Okay. Kind of see what I'm doing. I kind of don't see what I'm doing. Okay, let's see what I'm. Let's see what I'm playing with here. Um. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna keep this 
in my in my face so that I can uh, see what the freak is going on with this. So let me I'm just gonna put this here. You guys don't see it, but I see it because I need this just for reference for my colors to so make sure I'm not like you know, coloring something funky. Keeping some continuity here between the pages. Uh, let's get rid of this one because we're not even gonna touch that yet. Um, but I'm glad I printed it out. I printed it out twice though, like a dummy. And these papers, I'm just cheap. I don't like to waste paper. I'm end up wasting some paper. Um, okay, so why don't, looks like I'm, I got pretty much the backgrounds done. Again, watercolors. I'm using a bunch of different stuff. My main, my main guys is I'm using uh, Dr. P.H. Martin Hydras watercolors. Uh, I started using a little bit of this just to kind of play with it. This is like an acrylic ink, Amsterdam. I also use my little palette of Winsor Newton watercolors. So these are Winsor Newtons that I like. And for brushes, I got a variety of stuff here. I've got cheap ones. This is cheap. I got from my old my old uh, sensei. This is um, a cheap Princeton, like cheapy. Uh, these are little Japanese brushes, which I really like. And then these are the fancy uh, Winsor Newton Series 7s. So these are the Series 7s that this one has seen better days. <laughs> and these are in different states of decay. So these usually are for inking, but you know, every now and then we'll, we'll, we'll uh, do some coloring. Uh, so let's just uh, start figuring out what we're gonna do here. And I think I'm gonna put some music on. I've got my clothes back. I'm using some Monoprice Retros with uh, Brainwaves pads on them. And I'm gonna play some hip hop, which you cannot hear because YouTube does not like it when I play music that uh, I should not be playing for the public. So there you have it. Okay, so let's figure what the freak I'm gonna do here. Um, I mean, let's just do skin, right? Let's just get the skin going. One of the things, of course, I want to do is make sure I know what colors am I using for their clothing and their skin and the lighting. So I got to figure out where the lighting's hitting. So we're just going to do basic lighting. It's going to be right here. So we'll just do that with this blue, this is gray, and then uh, the skin color. Now she's African American, uh, also known as black. And so she's. We're gonna we're gonna do her up a bit here with a little bit more of a darker tone. Uh, because that's the way it is, and let's just do it. So, oh, I need a little bit of piece of paper too, for like just uh, dabbing. So let me get my paper. I had everything except for I need that. Let me get that real quick. Let's take one second. Feel free to ask me questions about the French Revolution or uh, Brian Michael Bendez or whatever. I'll do my best to answer that. <laughs> okay. Okie dokie. Oh, why am I doing this, you wonder? Well, I gotta do it anyway. So I figure, what the hell, let's just record it. And if no one watches it, fine. Okay. I need some really good close backs. But it is what it is, okay. Okay, how are we, how are we feeling? I don't need this one right now. I think this is... Yeah, I'm just gonna wait on this one. Okay. I'm gonna do that a little bit. Move this here so I can see. Okay, sorry for the uh, freaking thing here. Okay, are you ready? Okay, it's been like 10 minutes. We haven't even drawn yet. Okay. I'm gonna use the Chinese brush because it's big and I can just just do a bunch here. Um, so I what I did is I I dried up these Winsor Newtons. So uh, it just makes it easier. They're, they come in kind of tubes, but it's kind of nice to to do it this way, so. Okay. 
Okay. Here we go. Okay. Should we do this? How are we looking? We're looking good? Okay, that's good. Sorry, you saw my big beard. Did you see that pandemic beard? Look at that. Did you see how sexy that was? My pandemic beard? Now, I just realized that I'm doing this on a on a slant. Usually, I don't, <laughs> but I rarely draw, I would rarely paint live with you guys. So, this might be a slight issue with with the with the uh, gravity messing up my colors. But we'll see here in a second. Uh, let's see here. We're gonna do that. That's we're gonna probably keep it here. Well, let's just keep it keep it coming this direction. So I'll just no, that's not her neck is not like that. It's a little like so it doesn't quite look right, right? Because it's just like gray, you know. So it looks like oh, it's just like messy. But when you put the blacks on. It's primo, dude. It looks pretty badass. So, despite the fact that while you watch me do this, you'll see like, oh, it doesn't look right to me. Well, it's because you're not seeing the final product. Trust me. It's pretty cool. Okay. And then what's nice is, because this is all going to print, um, I can play with this digitally. So I can always correct it. So I'm gonna have this really cool, like, analog old school coloring. And then if I need to, I'll just freaking go in digitally and just fix this up. So that's what I like. Whoa, that's a lot. I took a monster about half an hour ago, so I'm gonna be up till probably 1.30. Um, might watch a movie after this for a little bit, but yeah, I'm gonna be up for a while. I shouldn't be drinking these damn things, but I find it's like, it's my version of like speed, where Friday night, Saturday night, I will drink one so that I can like stay up and get a little bit more work done. I know that's not good. Probably eating my stomach lining or something like that. But I don't drink and smoke, so it's, it's my thing. But it, it's no, no excuse, but... Okay. Um, I'm just doing all the panels with the same color, because it's like, why not, right? Like, I don't need to, like, fart around with not doing that.
Ah, shoot. Darn it. Dang it. Just put my big freaking hand right in that. You saw that, right? Damn it. I did not want to do that. That's my bad. Wasn't freaking looking. I'm the worst at that sometimes. <laughs> I'm like, a guy that I always do that every time. You guys have watched me. You guys have been here more than once. It's like, do it all the freaking time. Drive me batty. these guys uh what am i using i'm using like a um uh, what am i using for them uh, i'm using like a couple different colors but it looks like what i'm using is like just the uh this this um this it no no i'm using uh this burnt sienna Although I did like, hey, what's up? What's up, Damien? How you doing, buddy? How's Portland doing? I still like that town. It's such a good place, dude. Especially for comics and everything. It just didn't have so much rain. I think the rain would just, just kind of like take me, take me out a bit, but I do like that place. I'm a fan. I would move there. I told him if I could get a good job there, or if there was like a reason, you know, go work for Oni as an editor or something. I would. I probably would do it. I'd be close to my kids too, which is good. My older kids. So. Yeah. Okay, she's blonde, right? I think she. Oh, she's like a platinum blonde. So. I'll go do that. That looks looks okay. Been gray and wet, huh? Yeah. Sounds like it. You get more, I think, I'm pretty sure that Portland gets more rain than Seattle. Uh, I like, C I w if I added the both of them, I probably would pick Seattle over Portland, although it's, I think it's colder. I think it doesn't get as much rain as Portland. Um, I like the bigger cities, too, so. Um. But I like them. I like them. But when I go to one, I usually go to both. If I'm, if I'm in Portland, I usually just go ahead and take the drive and keep going all the way up to Seattle. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I know. Seattle's got those beautiful mountains. Well, you got Mount St. Helens there by, uh, Portland, right? Somewhere around there. I think it's like Mount St. Helens. Might be a little bit north of Portland, though, I think. I can't remember. But yeah, you've got like Mount Hood up there by Seattle. and I think it's Mount Hood. There's a couple Cascades or something like that it's called, right? I think. If I'm, if I'm right. Okay. Yeah, I think it's Portland. I think Portland gets more rain. 
because I was looking, I was, when I was looking up there for uh, jobs and stuff, we were like, well, let's check out the weather. It's like, oh, look, it's going to rain. I think. It's working out. Okay, we're doing a little uh, analog coloring here. For this is a comic book. This is a going to be a comic book. Of, I think it's going to come out on Kickstarter in a couple months, actually, for some some guys. Uh, I'm coloring it for them. It's called Cannibals on Mars, and it's this kind of old school sci-fi. Kind of like uh, aliens, you know, <clears throat> or those kind of like 80s, 70s kind of, uh, you know, space horror stories. And uh, and so I was hired to do the coloring. So we're going to, they wanted me to do it analog, but I did my Western book. So and so we're done. I think it's good. I think it'll turn out pretty nice. I'm hoping. You know, the more I do this project, the more I realize how colors really makes, puts a stamp on the story. It really does put a stamp on, you know, the look and feel of the comic <clears throat> by the colors. So uh, there's a little bit of pressure as far as just like making sure it looks good because at the end of the day, um, you know, people who are going to back it or buy the book, it's got to look good. And the colors look goofy in some way. It just doesn't look professional or it just has a weird style to it that then uh, it'll, it'll hurt your sales and stuff. So I do feel, I do feel some pressure to like do a good job. Even now I think about it, the more and more I think about some of the, some of those early pages, I'm like, oh man, I'm not sure that works. And I do question sometimes some of the stuff I do. So I might, go back and redo a couple things just so that I feel like it is the best it can be, you know. It's, it's like the guy who last touches the book, you know, it's like you want it to be good because we'll see. Great guys though that I'm working with, Clay and David and Tony. Um, Tony was actually on my, uh, the pencil, he was actually on my uh, podcast that I have, that I haven't done in a while, I need to do my podcast some more. I haven't really done any videos of that, or audio of that. Yeah, so this is, um, this is, so I got original 11 by 17 inks. I scanned those in. I put two, I shrunk them down, I put two to a page of 11 by 17, and then I decreased the opacity to 20%, and then I, I, I printed these out. So this is Bristol board of the inks. Now on paper, I'll watercolor this, and then I'll scan this, and on top, I'll put the original inks on top of it as a multiplier layer. And when I do that, these these grays will all like just be covered over so you won't see that so it doesn't really matter the final product it looks goofy now because you can't really see those blacks very well you know like for instance you know this is a final page so this is like finalized but it looks all funky it's like well oh, this doesn't look right but if you were to see this with the, the blacks on top of it it looks pretty badass and then I'll go in digitally and maybe put a few little like little special effects kind of things. Um, but so while this looks rough, the original with this actually looks pretty badass, the, the final product. 
but it's not, I could show that to you, but it's kind of hard to do it with video, so I might have to, um, well, let me see how, maybe I could just show you this way. Give me a second. I can move my camera over to my computer. Maybe that's what I should try to do. Let me, uh, let me pull up a page and show you what I'm talking about. Let's see here. So, I don't know if you can so let me just move this. Hopefully I don't regret this, but. Okay, can you, can you guys see? Can you guys see this, uh, my, my screen here? So here, for instance, this is a, one of the pages, right? And so this is, this is analog, you know, watercolor paint and then the, the inks go on top so you can see it you know I don't know I think I looks I think it looks pretty cool so so for instance so that's you know for instance that kind of a deal so uh, so this is so I it's, here's the original black and whites right so here's the black and whites I put them in on this and this is just opacities changed right so this is the original go down to 20% print this on paper and then, you know, scan that in and then put that on top of this and then you'll get your, uh, you'll get your deal. So that's, that's, that's what we're doing today for this project. So hopefully that makes sense for everybody. So, okay. Let me fix my camera here. Okay. Uh, okay. We're doing we're doing the flesh, the skin right now. We'll... Uh, did I invent this approach? Uh, I mean, I don't know if I. I can't remember where I got the idea for this. Let me think about this for a second. Um, where did this come from? Where where did I? So. I started this doing with Pariah, but I'm trying to figure out what came about. Um, let me think about this for a second. I'm like, I'm turning off my music because I'm like distracted. Let me think about this. How the hell did this start? I think what happened was, okay, the very first thing I ever did was I did this black and white I did, I did Prime Missouri. I, I penciled it myself and I used, I used sepia tones. So I just used like, or maybe it was just black, it was just like ink wash. So I did ink washes and I scanned those in. Where did I get the idea of doing this like printed out thing? I mean, I did it with Jose. So I did it when we first started doing Prime Missouri. Um, I know the very first thing I did was I actually printed out black inks. So it was like full inks. And then I would watercolor those full inks and then I would scan that. So what I did, oh, now I remember. So what I did originally, originally was I would go to Kinko's. Oh, this was a pain in the ass, you guys. I did this, I did this for like, 250 pages, 250 pages. I went to Dan Kinko's every week and I would print out on Bristol board his page, his inks. It was laser, it had to be laser so that the, you know, if you, do the, if you use inkjet, it'll screw it up. It laser printed his inks and then I would watercolor the inks because I didn't, I couldn't do it digitally. I didn't know how to do it digitally and I wanted the watercolor look because I was doing a Western. So I wanted this Western look, I watercolored it. Um, and so I thought, well, I'll just watercolor the page and scan the bastards and then that's it. That's the final, right? There you go. So I did that forever. And then what happened was either someone at a convention told me this is what they do or I figured it out through somehow that if you if you scan, if you, if you print out on paper, like the, like a blue line version or a, or a, a, a light, you know, 
gray or brown version, you can do it and keep the black separate. Because what was happening was the, the, the colors that I would put on the blacks would sometimes cover up the blacks. So you would have a black paint, but there would like the, the, the color would sometimes go over the black. And so then you're like, you're screwing up your blacks. Then you gotta like go back over the blacks. And so that wasn't working out perfectly for some certain things. So someone said, you know what you should do is just freaking print it out a small, you know, print it out on this, um, on paper in the, uh, uh, like a, a, a blue line or something like that. So I got a printer that could print 11 by 17. And then I started doing that on watercolor paper and on that. And then, so that way, basically I'm now separating out my blacks and my colors. Because so before, like I said, I was doing them both together. Then I separated them out. And then now that's just the way I do it. And so, you know, you know Shangri-La, I've done, I, I do Shangri-La digitally. So that's all digital colored. Um, but this one, is this kind of like analog version. And so now um, I keep the black separate, I do this, and then I just layer them on top. And then I was doing these full full size, but I'm like, you know what, I don't need to do full size. I can shrink these down and get two per page and it's quicker. And I feel like with my, my brush, even this little cheap Chinese brush, I can pretty much get the detail I need. I rarely have a problem where it's like, oh, this page is too small, the art's too small. I wish this was full sized. I really don't need to do full size. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, the original comics in the 60s and 70s, which were watercolored with or inked, you know, those colored inks, those were done in a smaller, smaller scale. They weren't done full size. They weren't 11 by 17. They were smaller. So I'm kind of like, maybe even go on the route that the professionals did back in the day. So that's what I'm doing now. I like this much better than digital. Why I'm doing digital for Shangri-La, I have no idea. I think I thought it would be quicker. It is not quicker. I can whip out these digitally, or excuse me, these watercolor, I can do these way quicker than digital. I think I wanted to do a digital for Shangri-La for one, I wanted to learn it, so I want to use it as a way to learn. And I felt like there's some cool like little techniques and tricks that I can do that that um, I couldn't do for this. But I originally did Shangri-La, the first like 10 pages are all watercolored. And then I was just like, ah, I don't know if this is gonna work, blah, blah, blah. So then I decided to do it digitally. But honestly, I feel like, like even his face right there, even his face, I think his face looks cool. And when this dries with the inks, that's gonna be pretty cool looking. So I couldn't do that. Uh, if I couldn't, I could not do that if I was doing this digitally. It just, I wouldn't be able to, I just don't know how to do it as good. So I don't know, maybe I should freaking do a watercolor now. Uh, but when people hire me to do a color job, I'll do it this way usually, because that's what they want. That was a long, that was a long, like, roundabout way of answering your question, but uh, I get paid by the hour here and by super chats, so throw me a super chat and I'll tell you more. No. <laughs> hey there, uh, how you doing there, Kingdom Comics? You been checking out my videos? Well, thanks, you dude. I appreciate you giving me the old Vioronis. That's good, man. I hope that you're doing it because you enjoy it. I mean, ultimately, that's why we do things, right? But, uh... Yeah, thanks for watching, and I hope that uh, it's got a little bit of entertainment with education, or at least you know, inspiration to make your own story or pick something up. I mean, ultimately, that's what I would want. I don't really care if you buy the books I have to talk about. I, I'm doing this all more as, as one, my own education, and two, to just like talk about stories and like say, you know, go make a story, go make your own book, go tell your own story. Cause we all have these, we have these incredible stories in our lives that we can tell. So that's ultimately what my channel's about. It's not really about reviews, although it's kind of morphed into that, but it's not really, it's not what I want it to be about really. I'm glad you're watching it. Yeah, cool man.
appreciate that. No, I get, I get, I get charged, uh, energized, and inspired when I see people do something cool, and, and it definitely, um, I get excited about it. And, and to be very frank, I also get there's a little bit of me that gets a little um, jealous. What are the words? Jealous, envious, you know, stressed out. Sometimes I get stressed out when I see people do something really amazing. I'm like, dang, I feel, I feel the divide of skill and stuff. Sometimes I feel that way, to be honest. So I try to, try to shut those feelings down, but I, I have them sometimes. I'm just like, dang, dude, it's so good. It's like, what the freak, you know? But generally speaking, I do like to watch people learn stuff. So. Can't put too much water on this because, again, because I'm, because I'm at a slant. If I put too much water, then I'm going to have problems with... Uh, it just falling down here, which is what it's doing now. So I got to be careful with that. flatten it's just a little bit just like a little bit too much water right there and this isn't gonna really work for you to see this but let me just do this real quick Okay. I think it's turning out actually kind of nice. Okay. How's that Jinji Ito book, uh, Damien, that you're reading? Did you ever fin did you finish it? You were talking that you were reading about that Jinji Ito. Book. I forgot what you said it was called, but did you finish that book? How's that come about? I like his stuff a lot. Okay, let's see here. Uh, okay, let's do her, her clothes. I think we're using cobalt blue for her, right? Here. Or is what is this? It's called Bob. Yeah, I think that's right. Okay. So this is called Cannibal on Mars. It's coming out on Kickstarter, uh, probably in Q2 or Q3 of this year. And I'm the colorist. It's going to be about a 46 page story, I think 42, 46, something like that page story. Um, we're on, I'm on page 32. I'm almost done with this whole thing. I started it last year. We should have finished it like a while back, but some people got sidetracked. So working on this. And then after this, I don't have anything besides my own work. No one's, no one's kind of reached out and I don't, I don't solicit myself too much to do coloring jobs, but I probably should. I guess if I wanted to, but 
uh, you know, takes away from my own creative stuff, which is to me the most important. So I'm not, I'm not too sad about it, but probably a good idea. Uh, what's her glove? Is her gloves blue or are they brown? I put it, I put the Edo on the side, read LDC. Ooh. Weird war tales, yeah. Is that the stuff that, is that like, when you say the Filipino artist, is that like the guys like Nino, uh, Alex Nino, and, and um, weren't weren't the Filipinos, I don't know, it sounds kind of weird, but weren't some of those guys like the, um, like Savage Sword of Conan, and some of those magazine formats that like did after, that went after Busima went, went to Conan? I heard they're really good. I don't have any of that stuff, but I do want to find some of those Savage Sort of Conan's magazine format that I think, if I'm not mistaken, there was some Filipino artists that evidently were like epic. And I don't know if Alex Nino was one of them or not, but I, that name somehow jumped out at me just now. Um, I need to, I need to get on that. I haven't bought comics in a while, like a long while. Um, I still have so much to read. I have I just haven't been motivated because um, I just have a lot to to read already. But I do want to get some of those magazines. Yeah, Akal. Yeah, Al Al Alaka. Nino Nino was one. Okay, yeah, I do like Nino stuff. Um, that those names actually the Al Kal Al Kala, didn't he? Wasn't he the one that did uh, some of the heavy metal stuff? Or am I getting mixed up? There was some heavy metal. I think so. But maybe I'm thinking of like an Italian guy with, with the name similar to that. I don't remember, but he might have done some heavy metal. I, I see these names in heavy metal sometimes that are just like, that are, you know, Spanish or some sort of a thing. And I'm... I'm Sometimes I get mixed up with them. But, uh, yeah, I'll have to look up those magazines. I probably could find them. I'm assuming, like, on eBay, I could probably get a lot of, a lot of, a, you know, a handful of them for not, you know, 20, 30 bucks, maybe. I don't know. Nebris. I don't know Nebris. I haven't heard of that one. Uh, I haven't heard of that name. They seem to go to DC, from DC Mystery Books to Marvel Black and White Simulator Era 1 Max. Oh, maybe I saw them in the Warren, the Warren stuff, like uh, Eerie and Creepy, which I love. I am a huge fan of I want to get all those hardcovers, but they're like 50 bucks each. Um, I love those, those creepies and and eeries and stuff that like people like um you know uh the toth did and al williamson all those guys yeah i love that stuff it's so good is that my wife just walked in my wife just came through there what do you know Okay, I gotta remember what the colors of these are. Is this? Oh no, these are the same outfits, right? Yeah, it's blue still. Okay. Okay, I don't, I don't need to do that. Sorry, you probably couldn't see what the heck I was doing this whole time. Because I was doing that. Tomorrow, dude, I got a video coming out of Hal Foster. We're doing um, some Prince Valiant. You know, and thinking about it too, I feel like I'm doing it a total disservice. Like, I didn't research that much on him. 
and I feel like I should really come at it with a lot more knowledge. So I'm, I'm, I'm feeling a little bit insecure about the Hal Foster video tomorrow just because I feel like there's not enough about him and I should really like have done my homework. So I'm feeling a little bit like I kind of dropped the ball a little bit on it. I might have to do a part two and really go into his life and stuff because uh, it's really good. You know, everyone talks about Prince Valiant and stuff, but like when you sit there and read it and study it and study like what he was trying to do here, it's really good. It really is pretty impressive. Um, yeah, it's no joke. I think there's a reason why it's like so inspirational for like generations, like multiple generations of creators were like influenced by Prince Valiant. I mean, he was like a straight up illustrator on those, those stories, no doubt. So hopefully you guys get a chance to watch that one. It's kind of fun. I'm a fan. Okay, I gotta figure out what these costumes are. I think these are the same as the bad guys. I have to find, I have to figure out what the colors are for these old these outfits too. I think it's green, but I'm not sure. So let me see here. Um, he's he's. Let me. He should be more. Let me get his splash going. Color. Yeah, dude. It's total intimidating. Um, yeah, I got some vol volumes. Uh, every now and then, Fanagraphics will do a big sale. And uh, it's a good time to like get get those books when they're on sale because you get a, a pretty good discount. You could buy, a, buy one of those you know, collections or, of them. Um, yeah, if you just sit there and study it, you're like, whoa. It's pretty impressive, like what he's doing, like his um, level of detail and and like um, costuming and design of, of the sets and the, the camera position and the castles and the horses and the bridles and the, all that stuff is just really cool, man. Really cool. Okay, I like that. that looks good. Um, I would do these guys blue. Just like kind of a base blue. I think all these are blue. These are blue. What's also nice is digitally, I could up the gain if I need to. So if I have a situation where, oh man, it's a little too faint, I could bump up the colors. So there's some nice little like tricks I can do digitally, um, which I probably didn't really utilize as much when I did Pariah. I think I could have done a lot more tweaking post with, with that book and I didn't. A lot of it was just I just didn't really have the understanding of it, but now I can, now a little, I know a little bit more what I'm doing.
Okay. What are we doing here with this? Are we doing brown? I guess we're doing blue. This feels like it's... That's red right there. This is blood. So that's easy. We'll just put some blood on that mama. That's easy. Okay. I need to look up these clothes because I don't remember what they were. Um, I want to say they're green, so let me look these up. Uh, what are we looking for? We're looking for. We're looking for page 29. She's she's got oh yeah, she's got a green outfit with a she I don't know what the hell she's wearing she's wearing some kind of crazy thing Think about that. I'm not sure I like this. Huh. Okay, well, that's what it freaking is. So it is what it is. Okay, so let me, uh, She's, she, it's green. It's a green, like, uh, it's a green top. Okay. It is what it is. Right? Okay. So let's do that. Okay, um, here we go. I just realized I'm just using the same brush the whole time. It's got a really nice point to it actually. And this thing is like super cheap. So um, you don't need to get this, the big fancy, you know, Windsor Newtons. I think those are good for inking, but for coloring, nah, just don't need it. That's what I think. That's my two cents. Whenever you can go cheap, go for it, dude. Let's do her shoulders too. Oh, is her hair, what did we decide her hair was? Is it kind of goldish? Well, how did I do this? Yeah, it's like a weird, what did I do here? Yeah, it's, it's like a platinum blonde. So, okay. So we'll, we'll do that next. Let's, let's fix the shoulders. Give her some flesh here. Got to be careful. Don't let that green touch the skin or else you're going to bleed out. I do it all the time on accident, so you got to be careful with that. 
So. Could make this even darker. Just make it a little stronger. Yeah. Okay. Put a little bit of yellow, I guess. Uh, I'll use this ink, this little yellow ink stuff, which is pretty good. It's a little strong though. Yeah, I think it's strong. A little too strong. There. Yeah, that ink is like way strong. Okay. Um. Okay. I gotta do his shoulders too. Okay, I have to use the restroom, so we're gonna do a quick bio break. So, I made my little fancy sticker, put that right there, can you guys see that? I do adjust it, yes, I do. Um, I'll tell you more about that in just one second, but yeah, I definitely do some post kind of farting around with, with the levels and saturation at times, depends on uh, what's going on with it, but yeah. Um, you just, you need to, you need to kind of like, just kind of like change it in post, so to speak. One second. Okay, I am back, everyone. Sorry for that little station identification break. But you know what? Sometimes you gotta take a break, you know what I mean? Sometimes you gotta do a bio break. You guys could go in and out, take breaks. I gotta, I'm on, I'm on the performance here. I gotta figure my moments. Uh, <laughs> so, um, let me see here what the hell's going on with this. I don't know what, I don't know who this is. I can't tell if that's that guy or not. Um, oh shit. It 
it, he must he must be this other guy there. He must be blue. I think so. Did I answer your question, by the way? I think I did, but if you want more details, I can tell you. But yeah, basically, I do change things up. I change it up. You got you gotta. Uh, uh, I think some of my first prize pages I did not. I just went with what was there, but. It's so simple now with photo and Photoshop to do that. It literally is just like a slider. And so that was like one of the first things I learned was like, okay, let's do this slider and let's just like get that going. Okay. I think this is supposed to be blue actually. So let me do that real quick. Yeah. Like for instance, like this here, I probably will amp this gain up a little bit just to bring that up a little bit more. I mean, most likely. Sometimes I don't, like, I don't know. Like, here's the original. Here's one page that's original. And I, I might not have changed the gain at all because the blacks are gonna come in on top of this so strong. I might just kept it, I don't know. I mean, it's literally like panel to panel, you know, <laughs> as I'm making those like decisions depending on the panel. Oh, it's got to be yellow right there, huh? Missed a little spot. Let me do that yellow real quick while I... Oh, I forget. Don't forget. Anything else I missed out here? Yeah, that's right. That's it. It's a little strong right there, but it's okay. It seems great though to have this natural color. Yeah, I, I think so too. Thanks for saying that. Yeah, I, I'm a fan. I think that's why they, they hired me because they liked what I was doing with the, the Western. So I think it's cool. I think it's, it's a little different. It's a little old school. You know, a lot of times when you see watercolor books, it's just fully painted. So they don't, the, there is no like black layer. It's just all in watercolor. So you lose the, the heavy black lines. Uh, it's all integrated. That's usually the way you see watercolor painted stuff. Um, so I think it's kind of a cool thing where you still get your hard uh, line work. And yet you get this kind of on top of this kind of an analog old school coloring, which uh, it's kind of a different look maybe. Definitely not what uh, a lot of people do. I mean, now it's all freaking digital. It's like 80 layers, groups of layers. And I just, I mean, it sh shows my age and just like lack of interest for that stuff. I just, I appreciate it. 
I appreciate the artistry and craftsmanship of it, but I just don't like it. It's just from like a the personal aesthetic. I'm not into that kind of like look. Uh, there's exceptions, but give me some nice flat colors or something like that any day. What is this? Oh, this is supposed to be to that blue, darn it. And that's my turquoise. I don't have my turquoise here. Darn it, I'll have to get that out. Okay, I gotta figure out his, his guys' his shirts. So her pants was orange, right? It's like an orange. I don't have an orange. How the hell did I do that? Uh, Oh, is they all green? Maybe they're all kind of green. Let me look here. Yeah, okay, they got brown. Brown. Okay, so he's green. Same, same as her, so we'll do that. These are the Russians that are kind of like, kind of like, I think they're kind of the, the bad guys in this one, which continues the, uh, you know, 80s trope of Russian cosmonauts causing problems and, you know. Hey, we got a couple of new people that came stop by. Thanks for, for stopping by here. I'm making a comic book called uh, Cannibal on Mars. I'm watercoloring it all by uh, hand, and I'm going to scan this in and then slap the, the blacks on top of it. This book will be 48-page special. I think it's coming out in a couple months on Kickstarter, so you can watch me as I'm doing it right now. And this is the Art of Comics channel. That's what we do here. We uh, we make comic books because we are uh, cool. Are we cool? I don't know if we're cool or not. But that's what we're saying, at least. I don't know if we are really cool, but... Okay. Um, okay, I'm assuming he's... Beard is brownish. Let's see here. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. We had like two nights ago, we had seven people together, which is like not a lot of people, but for me, that was like, oh, that's kind of cool. We didn't have, we didn't do that before, that's kind of cool. Uh, he's got brown hair. Okay, I'm not sure what to do with this. I'm assuming it's blue. I don't really know. I have to... It's like a dead body here.
Okay. I'm not sure what that is. That's going to be digitally put in. And I'm still not happy about this here. I'm not really sure some of these little like articles of clothing are. Um, I wonder if we put a little bit of brown in this. That might be kind of nice, maybe. I don't know. Just to give it some flavor. Yeah, she's got these orange pants. I gotta fix that. Let me see. Okay, buddy. It's, thanks, man. I appreciate you uh, stopping by. And yeah, I'm always kind of changing it up, so you'll never know if I'm digitally coloring, watercoloring, penciling, inking. Uh, there's just I'm doing it all. I might even do a lettering, which will definitely put you to sleep. I hate lettering. But thanks for watching. Appreciate it, buddy. What? 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 Oh, dude, you're killing me, Damien. I'm gonna give you the. Um, the siren sound of love and joy. Thank you so very much. You're the best, man. You're like, you make my freaking week, dude. Seriously, I appreciate you so much. Let me know what I can do for you sometime. Maybe I'll, uh, I think I have your address still. Maybe I might have to do something for you. Thank you very much, appreciate that. See that, people? You see how, what he just did? That's called a super chat. That's called love right there. In our society, unfortunately, we express love through monetary means. And uh, my man, uh, Sleepy Sleepy Satan, Sleepy Reader 666, um, really nice guy. Very, very thankful for that. I want to do some sort of like a challenge where like uh, if people do a super chat, then maybe I like, I don't know, sing a song. I draw something. I tell a story. I don't know. I got to figure something out that people want. Uh, I, I tell a Howard Chaikin story. I don't know. <laughs> I don't really have any Howard Chaikin stories, but um, very that's very sweet, very cool, man. Love through money, baby. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thanks, thanks so much. Appreciate that big time, big time. <clears throat> very nice. Okay, Damien, Damien set the bar. He just showed you guys what to do, how it works, in theory. Okay, um, let's, let's keep on task here. Um, let me do some more of these little guys here. So cool. He's the best, man. I can just sit here and talk about him all the time. He actually ordered my book. Damien said, hey, you talk about this Western called Pariah, Missouri. Uh, where can I get it? And so I was like, here, I'll show it to you. And so I spent some time showing him the book. And he ordered it. And I just shipped it to him. And now he has a copy of uh, Pariah, Missouri, which is a very large 300-page horror Western book that I did a couple years ago. So um, I got a big stack of copies still. And it's very sweet of him to, to order it. So if anybody there uh, wants to get a copy, uh, let me know. Because we will hook you up. We will hook you up big time. So I didn't even notice he's got the vision. The vision as uh, his, little, his little thing. That is so cool. Huh. I had no idea. I just watched the latest... Uh, uh, what do you call that show? Um, WandaVision. I just watched the latest one. So, 
I'm actually liking it. People were saying they weren't liking it at first because of the uh, like references to the old sitcoms, but maybe I'm older. I don't know. I liked it. I thought it was cool. I thought it was just a really cool idea. Just really trying to reinvent, you know, stuff. Very creative. I thought it was way cool. So all you haters, I don't know what to say about that. It was cool. That's what I think. I thought it was way cool. So. Damien. Man, what a great guy. I tell you. He's like, um, he's in the inner circle now. He's just, he's just been bumped up. It's the inner circle. Uh, I don't really know what that means yet. Maybe. <laughs> I won't, yeah, maybe I'll give him just a phone call. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but inner circle. Gotta love that. Okay. Um, we're gonna keep coloring here for another 15 minutes or so. I think we might call it, call it a good night. So I'm just kind of analog watercoloring this, and then I'll scan it in. And put the uh, blacks on top of it. This is gonna look good. I, I really think I do a, a much better job doing this than than uh, my digital coloring. I just, I just, um, what's the problem with my digital coloring? It's, I make I put the flats in and then I try to put some shapes in it, but it just doesn't have the kind of organic movement that this stuff does. You know, and the brush, the brush strokes and kind of the stuff. I don't know. I think about it all the time if I should not color it. Either get someone else to color it or, or I just color it like this. And I just watercolor the damn thing. It's just, um, I don't know. Sometimes I like, there's certain things I like. Do you ever find it hard to get the right balance? Do you ever find it hard to get the value balance right without the final blocks? Yes, no, that's very true. I, I do sometimes because, um, yeah, no, I do. I, I, cause right now I've done this enough. I kind of can figure out like where I'm at as far as like, you know, how much color, how much like pigment to put on the page. Just because I kind of know what these are going to look like in my mind, the blacks on top. But there are times when I either put too much pen pigment on the paper or it's just too light, not enough layers of color. And so uh, I have to digitally, you know, do some adjustments. So I usually do some kind of tonal uh, level corrections. Uh, and I, you know, you know you should go panel by panel to kind of like mess around with that. So yeah, I, I try to, I do a decent job of figuring it out. Like I think this panel, for instance, won't need too much changes. You know, I think I'm, I, by the time I'm done, I think I'm going to have it the right level, but yeah, you do have to do it because you just don't really know. And especially when you add little like flares and kind of special effects and stuff to it. You, you might need to kind of change, change some things. So yeah, I usually, um, you know, this page will take like, I don't know, what, what does this been an hour? And we're almost done with two pages. So, you know, I can finish two pages in an hour, hour and a half. And then I'll probably spend another like half an hour per page, maybe 45 minutes per page, just going back and like doing little like touches up digitally. So I do do a, like another like pass at it, so to speak, um, which is new for me because usually I would just go straight from here and then put the blacks on it and then we call it a day. But since this is this is it for a job, this is for uh, some guys. I want to I want to make it really nice, and so I uh, I do kind of like jazz it up a little bit and post post. Uh, I call it post, but it's just digital. Yeah. Uh, Scott Murphy, I totally get the digital restriction type rope. I've been doing a lot of experimenting 
with which processes are done better, with which medium out of the same frustration. Yeah, no, I think, um, yeah, I appreciate you saying that, uh, Scott. I, um, I enjoy this. I, I, I like have a, I have more fun doing this than I do digital coloring by a freaking long shot. Like next week I've got, I got a big ass stack of paper pages like 12 pages i got a digital color for my book and i do not want to do it <laughs> i much would rather sit here and just paint i feel this is more relaxing and it's less stressful and i think the end product is better in some ways but since i've already kind of started digital coloring the book i don't really want to go back and start back at the beginning and do it this way so kind of like stuck in that route but yeah i um I do kind of play around with, with both in some ways. Um, they both have their advantages, right, and stuff. And it's cool when you pick up a book that's just watercolor, right, like Moon Shadow or something like that. You know, in the in the eighties, a lot of those like epic books and magazines um, were done were done like you know watercolored or like the Sienkiewicz books, like you know. Uh, Electro Assassin, which had a lot of watercoloring and, and painting and stuff. And I think those, they just look cool. I think that's, you know, I'm trying to go for a little bit of that. Um, but at the same time, there's some cool digital stuff too that you can do. A lot of, a lot of cool like screen tones and layers. Uh, not layers like all, you know, three to three, you know, three dimensional layers, but just like cool, like layers of uh, textures and stuff, which is kind of fun. So, so uh, yeah, trying to figure out the balance of what to use and is always tricky. I mean, that's, that's part of the artist's dilemma. I feel like, let's get her, her old private's a little darker there. I feel like it's a little too light. Got to have dark privates in this mama. Or <laughs> okay, that's a little better. Yeah, that's good. Now it's good. now we're talking. Now we're talking. That that I actually like that a lot. Maybe we'll even go even darker. Yeah, I like the penciling on this one. I like the pencil on this color here. His name was Tony Donnelly. Tony Donnelly. He did the pencils on this. He's done a couple indie books. And I think it looks nice. I might put a little, like, another color on here, too. Some sort of a highlight. I'm thinking I might put, like, a little green or a little blue here. I'm not sure. I might even put a little bit right now, just put a little dirt. Okay, a little, little bit of dirt here, just to kind of like play with it. I think if you make it all one color, it just looks a little too artificial. So you want to put a little bit different colors in here just to kind of play with it. Making happy trees. <laughs> happy trees. And then I don't know where his hair is. So where's everybody here from? So it's it's midnight here in the Pacific. Hopefully you guys aren't like East Coast because then it would be like three o'clock over there. I'm assuming everyone here is like in uh, Pacific time, maybe Hawaii or someplace. It's not too late. Uh, 
Oh, uh, that's supposed to be gray, actually, I think. That's, that's the... That's good. Um, no, I should put a little bit more here. East Coast, dang, it's one in Colorado. You guys are staying up late. And I'm gonna be up for another hour probably myself, but yeah, dude, uh, East Coast is, that's like, is it cold right now? It's probably cold over there, right? Okay, let me think about this. I want to put a little bit more color there. I think we're almost done on this though. I've always wanted to go to Boulder. I've heard Boulder's a nice town. I've been to Denver Airport. It's about as far as I've been. Okay. I'm gonna think about this. Be kind of be fun to put a little bit of purple in here. What if I put a little bit of purple? What would that do to me? Would that mess me up? Let's try it. when you see the blacks come on this it'll be like whoa it'll look pretty cool guys I'm, I'm not making that up I really I mean it <laughs> okay um, I actually think this is fine I think this is all I need to do because when I I think I'm just looking my major colors I think yeah I think this is it it looks really sketchy and that's okay, because that's just, this is actually what I want. So, here's I mean, here's an example of the one I did like a couple of weeks ago. This is this has been scanned in. So, when you scan this in, uh, again, and you put that other layer on top, it should be just right. So, I think I think we're good. I think this is finished. Oh uh, no, let me do these hands. These hands. These hands a little bit. I need these gloves. I'll be good because I want to finish this up. I got he wants these done quick, so let's get this crap done for him so he can start getting his Kickstarter ready and all that jazz. Gotta get ready for the Kickstarter. Freaking Kickstarters. I am so sick of Kickstarters too. <laughs> I've done eight, so I'm just like done jaded by the whole Kickstarter concept I loved it and I still love the idea of it but with with the way so many damn companies use it and publishers and people that I feel are like you don't need to do a damn Kickstarter it that kind of like I don't like competing with with that kind of like no names you know you know Frank Miller Bill Sienkiewicz these people put out a damn Kickstarter I mean come on you're killing me guys because that's like, you're competing with these guys, right? That, because uh, you are, you're competing dollars, you know, right? It's like someone only has so much money to spend on Kickstarter a month. So they're going to buy the damn, you know, Bill Sienkiewicz book, right? <laughs> so that kind of stuff, and I love Sienkiewicz. I'm not trying to bust his balls, but that, and the fact that just like, I've seen so much bad stuff on Kickstarter and get funded really high that also kind of annoys me to all freaking hell so I'm just a salty old bastard about some of this stuff 
I'd rather just avoid it. But that said, I probably will have to do a damn Kickstarter to look on that managing this one. I'm just the art. I'm just the painter. I'm not gonna freaking deal with the kiss shot on this mama. So, okay, that's done. So let's just, uh, how much more do I wanna do? Do I wanna end this now? Um, uh, what do we got next, damn it. So that's 33, 34, oh. So what's next? So we've got, so that's 32, 33. And now this is the next page, it's 34, 35. So if, once I finish this, I need to do those three pages right away. Oh, that looks kind of cool. I like that, the way that kind of turned out. Um, I think I'm going to stop tonight. Actually, that looks cool. Oh, it's kind of cool. It turned out kind of neat. Um, I think I'm going to stop tonight. And then I'll finish this tomorrow, and then we'll be done with those. Maybe I'll do a video of the next step. If you guys want me to do that, I can. I'll, I'll do a video of me scanning these in, and then I'll just film my computer screen as I digitally manipulate them. That might be kind of nice, just to kind of keep the continuity. Um, and then I've got all these... I've got, see, these are all these damn pages I gotta ink, right? These are all pages. I've gotta ink all these sons of bitches, and then I gotta like, I gotta ink them, and then I gotta scan these guys. This is Shangri-La, so this is that new book that I'm doing. So, I gotta do this too, this is, but let me do this, this is a, a paying gig, so, paying gigs always trump non-paying gigs. So, I think that's what we'll do. So, I think that's it for us tonight, guys. And now we got five people. We actually got some, some people coming. So anyway, uh, thanks a lot for watching. I will even show you my 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 ugly mug here for just a quick second. So you see what's going on with me. So here we are at the Chateau de Salazar. Uh, thanks for watching. And uh, I will see you guys next time. Tonight, tomorrow, today, tomorrow, tonight. Saturday, I guess this is Saturday. Later on, today, there's gonna be the um, Hal Foster video of um, uh, Prince Valiant, man, it's getting late. Prince Valiant, dudes. If you guys don't know Prince Valiant, Hal Foster, it's epic. Love it, and uh, I'm gonna talk all about it. So stay tuned to that, and thanks a lot for watching. Good night, uh, good morning, and arrivederci. Peace out. And that's how.